Fitting is this song from John McCormack called When Irish Eyes Are Smiling. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I will be visiting the final resting place of tenor John McCormack. John Francis McCormack was born on the 14th of June, 1884, in Athlone, County Westmead, Ireland. The second son and fifth of the 11 children, five of whom died in infancy or childhood. Of Andrew McCormack and his wife Hannah Watson. His parents were both from Gala Shields, Scotland, and worked at the Athlone Woollen Mills, where his father was a foreman. He was baptised in St. Mary's Church at Lone on the 23rd of June, 1884. Fundraising activities on his behalf enabled John McCormack to travel to Italy in 1905 to receive vice training by Vincenzo Sabatini, father of the novelist Raphael Sabatini in Milan. Sabatini found McCormack's vice naturally tuned and concentrated on perfecting his breath control, an element that would become part of the basis of his renown as a vocalist. In 1906, he made his operatic debut at the Teatro Cibrera, Savona. The next year he began his first important operatic performance at Covent Garden, becoming the theatre's youngest principal tenor. In 1909, he began his career in America. Michael Scott writes that at this stage of his career, he should be considered a tenor of the Italian style. In February 1911, McCormack played Lieutenant Paul Morell, in the world premiere of Victor Herbert's opera Natoma with Mary Garden in the title role. Later that year he toured Australia after Dame Nellie Melba engaged him. Then at the height of his operatic career, aged 27, as a star tenor for the Melba Grand Opera season, he returned for concert tours in subsequent years. By 1912, he was beginning to become involved increasingly with concert performances, where his vice quality and charisma ensured that he became the most celebrated lyric tenor of his time. He did not, however, retire from the operatic stage until after his performance of 1923 in Monte Carlo, although by then the top notes of his vice had contracted. Famous for his extraordinary breath control, he could sing 64 notes on one breath in Mozart's El Mio Tesoro from Don Giovanni, and Handelin singing was just as impressive in this regard. In 1917, McCormack became a naturalised citizen of the United States. In June 1918, he donated $11,458 which would be $215,000 in today's money, towards the USA's World War I effort. By then, his career was a huge financial success, earning millions in his lifetime from record sales and appearances. In 1927, McCormack moved into Moor Abbey, Monastreven, County Kildare, and adopted a very opulent lifestyle by Irish standards. He also owned apartments in London and New York. 
He hoped that one of his race horses, such as Golden Lullaby, would win the Derby, but they never did. McCormack also bought Runyon Canyon in Hollywood in 1930 from Carmen Runyon. McCormack saw and liked the estate while there filming Song O oh My Heart, an early all talking, all singing picture. McCormack used his salary for this movie to purchase the estate and built a mansion he called San Patrizio after St. Patrick. McCormack and his wife lived in the mansion until they returned to England in 1938. McCormack toured often and in his absence the mansion was often let to celebrities such as Janet Gaynor and Charles Boyer. The McCormacks made many friends in Hollywood, among them Earl Flynn, Will Rogers, John Barrymore, Basil Rathbone, Ronald Coleman, Charles E. Toberman and the Donahys. After his farewell tour of America in 1937, the McCormacks deeded the estate back to Carmen Runyon, expecting to return to the estate at a later date. World War II intervened and McCormack did not return. John McCormack originally ended his career at the Royal Albert Hall in London during 1938. However, one year after that farewell concert, he was back singing for the Red Cross and in support of the war effort. He gave concerts, toured, broadcast and recorded in the capacity until 1943 when poor health finally forced him to retire permanently. Ill with emphysemia, he bought a house near the sea, Glenna, Booterstown, Dublin, Ireland, after years of increasingly poor health and a series of infectious illnesses, including influenza and pneumonia. McCormack died at his home in Booterstown on the 16th of September 1945. He was buried in Dean's Grange Cemetery. McCormack was much honoured and decorated for his musical career. In 1928, he received the title of Papal Count from Pope Pius XI in recognition of his work for Catholic charities. He had earlier received three papal knighthoods. One of the most famous performances of McCormack's Irish career was his singing of Cesar Frank's Panis Angelicus to the hundreds of thousands who thronged Dublin's Phoenix Park for the 1932 Eucharistic Congress. A life-sized bronze statue of McCormack by sculptor Elizabeth O'Kane was established in Dublin on the 19th of June 2008. The statue stands in the Ivy Gardens close to the National Concert Hall. He is also commemorated by an English Heritage Blue plaque and the house near Hampstead in London, 24 Ferncroft Avenue, where he lived from 1908 until 1913. A statue of the tenor was unveiled in a square newly named in his honour outside the Civic Centre in Athlone, on the 24th of October 2014. The sculpture created by the Irish artist Rory Beslin. Today I'm in Dean's Grange Cemetery in Dublin and I'm going to take you to see the grave of John Count McCormack. And this is John's final resting place. John Count McCormack, 1884 to 1945. John Count McCormack, 1947 to 2016. Carol Ann McCormack, 1942 to 2013. Cyril Count McCormack, 1907 to 1990. And then underneath John's bust, you have Lily Countess McCormack, 1886 to 1971, and a number of family names, Edward Pike, 1942 to 2016, Gwendolyn McCormack Pike, 1908 to 1996,
So rest in peace, John Count McCormack and all your family. And thank you for the wonderful music you brought to the world and your rare talent. Thank you for watching the video guys. Take care. God bless. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.